them up the shrooms. Charlie them up the shrooms. Them up the shrooms, shrooms, shrooms. Starting them up the shrooms. Sorry, I'm just now getting my mic set. Oh man, it's fucking cold, and it's gonna get even colder. Oh my god! Like I, I've been looking at, at some like um at, at some YouTube weather forecast um, streams, and there's like a freaking Arctic hunt that's gonna be through like the whole of like the America and cutting through the Midwest and the coast of the western states. It's gonna be sweeping um, we're gonna be getting like the edge of it here in like southern Utah. And I'm not looking forward to it. Like last night wasn't as cold as the night prior, but I think this is like the um <laughs> calm before the storm. So I think in a matter of like a few days, it's gonna fucking just be frigid, like really frigid. Anyway, uh, just a quick update. Uh, what's going on? Like those who are like interested in how that job opportunity was gonna pan out, I I I knew it wasn't gonna like amount to anything, but um, here is the. Oh, here it is. Um, got to get my mic out of the way. Um, the talent agency or the talent agent working for that agency or um, commissioned by that company in Vegas. This is what they were. He responded with, like, "Hi, Johnston. I hope you're doing well. Already not that good." like bracing you for bad news <laughs> thank you so much for your time yesterday unfortunately the team has decided this week that the role can't be remote Fuck. what a time for like things to start calming down like the whole pandemic and whatever but like i, I get this the word of this position this remote position like at the ass end of that so i guess maybe they're not doing remote stuff anymore or they decided to delve deeper into my history and what whatnot, and just like said, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna hire this guy. So like, uh, if that's the case, like, fuck that team. Um, the team has decided this. The team has decided this week that the role can't be remote. Yeah, this week, all of a sudden, this week, the the role can't be a remote position. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Bullshit. But I would love to stay in touch for future job opportunities. Also, I encourage you to create a profile on our site. It gives me a link to the like a talent agency website. I, I, I may or may not do it. I don't know. But we can keep you in the loop on other job opportunities and our virtual events we think you'll love. These are a great way to network, gain new skills, and connect with some awesome industry leaders. Awesome industry leaders. <laughs> warmly um then she gives her name and the um, uh, yeah like it, it it sounded hopeful but again like i wasn't gonna hold my breath for it like fucking it, it's the same old story like like it, it's a glowing review i got a great portfolio i got a great like uh set of skills and like an awesome like like years of experience but then when a company delves deeper into like my, my history, my past, they just switch tunes like, <laughs> oh, we decided to go in a new direction. Or like, oh, we hired somebody else ahead of you. And in, in, in this one's case, like, oh, just this week, they decided like, yeah, we're not going to hire any more remote artists for this position. Like, oh, yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> anyway, that was the update for that. <clears throat> uh, oh, Mike is doing that back and forth thing again? Hold on. Sometimes this thing, like, it, it gets set down to, like, um. Now you can hear the dog in the background. Fuck. It gets set down to, like, a mid-level like mid 
for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know how much of that rant that you were able to hear. Did you get the gist of it? It was an update on the job situation. Shut up! It was an update on the job situation. How the company, like, just this week, like, all of a sudden decided, like, oh, we're not going to hire this position out to a remote artist. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Heard it all. Okay, cool. Anyway, I may as well just jump back into the art, right? But, it, but this is what I've been working on. I don't know if I should go ahead and jump back into this Jessica Rabbit. And just finish her up. Or just keep working on this. I'm also working on an animation. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay busy. Like work begets work, but it doesn't really amount to much. That like even though your work is worth it, like companies just still don't want to hire you <laughs> because they fucking suck. We would like to hire you, but the, with the cultural climate that's going on right now, we don't want to risk being canceled for associating with someone of your caliber and your character. You're like, yeah, fuck you, dude. You fucking piece of shit. Kiss my ass, buddy. <laughs> Assholes. Yeah, fuck those uppity motherfuckers. Just fucking keep drawing art on my own. <laughs> Anyway, if you want to see more art and help support me, feel free to donate. Melody has donated a lot, and I know Braxton Landry has donated here and there. And if anyone else wants to donate, feel free to. But much shout-outs and appreciation go to Melody, Braxton Landry, Dasco Draws, and I know there are like some other donator donators who like donate anonymously and like <laughs> i don't know their names because <laughs> like uh coffee just like writes them off as like anonymous user so that's cool but yeah though you guys know who you are so thank you very much it's much appreciated but anyway let's let's go ahead and get back to this Make a new layer, set to multiply. I'm going to make these kind of like warmish shadows. Maybe, maybe like a dark pink, dark red. I got to get the right brush. Airbrush. <laughs> Let's see how this shadow looks. Oh, hey, that's not that bad. Woohoo! Perdona moi. I just had like a quick breakfast, and I, I think I ate it too fast, and I'm just kind of I got the hiccups now. <laughs> Melody says, and if those penny pushers up at the top don't like you, well, they can park their overpaid fat asses on this middle digit. <laughs> well put, love. And swivel, ooh, ooh, swivel till they squeal like pigs on a honeymoon. Ah, <laughs> oh, darling, sweetness, honey kitty, I fucking love you. You gave Jessica Rabbit five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Melody! <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? Let me tone that down a bit then. Oh my gosh, like I, I can see it in this monitor. I did, didn't I? Yeah, she she did look like she had five o'clock shadow. Come on, Roger Rabbit. Let's go on an animated cartoon adventure. <laughs> I got like fucking Dr. Girlfriend vibes right here. Let's go, Roger Rabbit. Hide yourself in my big... Ample bosom. It still has that. I, I guess I still have to correct my my colors on this thing. Like the colors on the my drawing tablet 
they look fine, but on this other monitor, they look a little bit too dark. So, okay, that looks a little better. By night, they're just a rabbit. Day, by day, they're a butch husky dog worker named Larry. <laughs> Yes. We'll go with that story. Do 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 Oh, uh, update on the whole like um electric power bill thing. So, oh shoot, I forgot to get my sister's um proof of well, well her income statement. Because the power bill company, they need my class schedule, which I printed out, and my sister's income statement. So we're still applying for this, like, um, kind of like a debt relief thing for the power company as part of this whole, like, um, like a COVID relief, uh, pandemic relief from the tribe. So we got to get that paperwork in. Um, I think we're coming up to the deadline here pretty soon. But um, my mom, uh, <laughs> I, I hate to admit, but she like went ahead and like applied for like a credit card from this bank here in Utah. And she's waiting for that so we can like truck on down there and like put in this application and she's going to put money down on, on from that credit card. And hopefully like the, the relief, um, application goes through and we get like a chunk off of our power bill but um yeah we're pretty much waiting for that right now like uh, for this credit card to come in and it was supposed to come in weeks ago but it hasn't arrived yet so i'm afraid like what what is this fucking bank a scam or something they promise like a credit card and they don't send it to you but then they just charge you like like all the credit card fees and whatever If we don't get it this week, like fucking, I don't know, call the Better Business Bureau or something. <clears throat> like, why is my mom getting charged for a credit card she doesn't own yet? She's like, got all these fees already. Like, come on, guys. What the fuck is going on here? And the money I was donated, like the the two fifty, I believe, like I'm still holding on to that, so that when we get to the power company, I can just like more or less pay it face to face. I hope they accept debit. I don't see why they wouldn't, because my mom's expecting to get this card and like put a lot of it on that new credit card. But it, it just hurts how. Like, she's pretty much borrowing from Tom to pay Dick. And that's no way to go about it. But then, like, we're just caught in this situation where, like, fucking all these debts are coming at us left and right. It, it's it's not as severe as it was before. Like, um, I'm glad I was able to pay off this fucking cabin and to pay off my tires all thanks to like uh generous donations from my followers so it's fucking great <laughs> yeah it, it's awesome 
So just much, much thanks and gratitude go to all the people who donate. Melody and Brax Talandri especially, because they, they've been donating a lot. And Melody is like, uh, she pretty much put up the money for pay off my tires. So I, I, I don't have, I don't have to worry about those at all. So thank you, love. You are the best honey floof the scruff bear could ever ask for. And I think besides that, I got to make an appointment with my academic advisor. Because I think I still have one more class to take this coming spring. But if it's going to be a face-to-face -face class, I don't think I'm going to have... I, I, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Because, like, the, the class is going to take place in Salee, Arizona, which is, like, about a two-hour drive away. Like, it's either two or three hours. And it all depends on the quality of the roads. So I have no fucking idea. And I, I'm not going to fucking, like, drive two or three hours away just for one class. Like, two times every week like to drive there and back that's a lot of fucking gas money man i'm not doing it <laughs> so i gotta like talk to this uh, academic advisor like see if the classes are going to be like face to face if that's the case i can't do it i'm checking out it can't be done it cannot be done To do so would just like land me and my family in more financial hardship than we're already in. And fuck whatever the courts think about it, you know, because like fucking, I'm not, I'm not going to put myself even put myself and my family even in more debt just to appease them. Because that's counterintuitive. And besides, like, whatever else I need to learn, I can just, like, learn on my own. Like, having to go to class just kind of, like, served as a technical formality. <laughs> I was like, all in all, like going to class, like really put me in debt in, in, in the way that like I, I couldn't focus on art and commissions. So I'm just like constantly like fucking paying like the bare minimum of essentials and whatever and not getting enough to like actually pay, pay bills and stuff. I had to depend on donations from generous benefactors to get me by and doing that again do i still have chili dogs yes i still have mucho chili doggos <laughs> the, the most important question right now is do you still have chili dogs yes i do the boy's not made of fucking money courts yeah like fucking it's like they 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 force me to do all this stuff just to make themselves feel good it's like oh yeah he'll figure it out it's like fucking i i was figuring it out in the first place if you just like fucking let me alone and like do the stuff on my own without your intervention just probably would have been well on my own like a long time ago but no i have to like fucking stumble all over myself trying to please everybody uh anyway okay 
Let's start shading the dress. See if the same color will work. Whoa. I'm not made of fucking money. Fucking bitch asshole motherfuckers. I gotta fucking announce my bid to run for president. This is just everything else is just so time consuming. Like uh mostly it's like uh just having to deal with family and make sure they're okay but sometimes i feel like i'm, I'm just kind of like getting taken advantage of in a sense because i'm i'm here to help to help mom because she's disabled but then it, it, other family members like will send me out on these errands because i think their mentality is like oh johnston works from home so he can he can take care of this, but what they don't understand is like just taking care of like a simple task takes sometimes it takes hours out of my out of my drawing time like take takes hours out of the day, and that's time I could be using to like fucking make money. It's not happening as much as it used to, thank God, <laughs> speaking of which like like funny is that um like it's happening a lot less ever since i had that fucking screaming match with god just like fucking you fucking dipshit motherfucker stop sending me all these fucking goddamn challenges i know the whole saying is that um god wouldn't challenge you if you didn't believe you like well i fucking wish you wouldn't believe me all this goddamn much you son of a bitch piece of shit motherfucker ass pussy clown dildo why don't you fucking challenge somebody else for once like fucking there's a whole bunch of spoiled brats who were born with silver spoons in their mouths. Why don't you fucking challenge them, huh? Leave me the fuck alone, you asshole. <laughs> that, that was pretty much it. And I broke down just like on my drive to like take care of another errand. It's like, I, I'd rather be like fucking doing something else right now. I, I, I should be like fucking drawing and making money out of it. But no, you fucking keep sending me all these fucking stupid challenges. They're just fucking wasting my time, you fucking piece of shit. But yeah, like I had a... I had it out with God <laughs> on that little road trip. But fortunately, like afterwards, like a lot of this like extra stuff that I've been having to do for other people just really calmed down. And some nowadays, like when they try to send me on like some extra side mission, I I'm about to get to the point to like tell them like, look, I can't keep doing this. You can't keep like fucking sending me off to go do something simply because I work from home because all that time spent away from me working at home is money out of my pocket and I'm just I got bills to pay <laughs> notice this thank god if there is such a thing <laughs> right but like um I think not in the sense of like a religious god but in the sense of like a universal type of like you call it karma It's like um kind of like a universal collective conscious if you can perceive of something uh, on that level like uh, I don't believe I'm talking to like like any sort of like religious entity like uh like a dude sitting on a cloud or something but I'm just more or less shouting at the universe like the universe has its like own energy it has its own wave and in a sense, like, if you can, like, really call it anything, I guess you can call it karma. And I don't know why karma is, like, being so shitty on me, in a sense. It's like, I, I'm, like, some sort of, like, fucking schlock receptacle for, like, all this shitty negative stuff to, like, just keep happening to. And, like, fucking, like, fuck you, like, more or less karma. It's like, why, why do you, why are you, like, sending me all this bullshit, like, when I really haven't, like, 
done anything to deserve it. Like, there are, like, other people who are deserving of all this fucking asinine bullshit that, you know, like, you could, like, challenge them with, you know? Like I said, like, the fo fucking spoiled rich brats born with spoons in their mouths, hardly get to lift a finger to, like, work for the pennies that they use. Like, it, it's all just pretty much inherited. Like, fucking go after them. Why, why not? Like, fucking... I don't know, give them a disease, like, give them a broken leg, like, fucking knock them down a few pegs, get them close to our level, just to see how, like, hard it is to, like, fucking live the way some of us do, just fucking stop shitting on me for once, right? Anyway, after that screaming and shouting match, <laughs> on that little trip, like, everything kind of, like, eased up a little bit. So I'm hoping for more thing, good things to come. I just... I just don't appreciate all this fucking busy work when I should be just drawing, animating, just trying to make content. Like, uh, I'm trying. Look at that. These are like little roughs and storyboards. I'm trying to like get around to animating again. <laughs> because I think more people would donate if I had more animated content, which I like promised ages ago, but fucking fuck my life, right? Like fucking I can't get enough time in like fucking edgewise because I'm always running around trying to make people happy not only the courts but my family and all these stupid little obligations and I can't fucking get like a solid hour or so down just to work on the promised content that like I advertised a long time ago like I wanted to be like animating more and I thought I would get that chance, like, moving out here on the res, but it's just, like, fucking so tedious just to, like, fucking get everything done. And when you do get done, it doesn't stay done. I don't know. I just, I just need to make time. To fucking focus on just providing more content. I, I don't think the streams are like, the streams are helpful, but I think people just want to see more animation. They want to see more animated content. And I want to get to that point. But I'm just so busy like keeping up with not only my bills, but family bills. Like, um, a lot of my family's bills are their own bills, but stuff like the energy bill, like, some, that those are the cases where it's, like, family debts become my debts, because if the power gets shut off, fucking, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked, too. Uh, Melody says, in our animation projects, always dying the death. <laughs> well, at least I still keep them. Like, um, I was thinking about working on some of them, like, a little while ago. Let me see if I can pull them up. Oh wait, I've been getting messages. Messages, 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 messages. Oh, what is this? Oh shit, guts has been yamchid. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find one of those animations. Um, Where oh it's in this folder. No, these aren't them. Oh they're in my commission folder. I believe one of them was right there, but then there was like damn it. Uh, let me see. Where the fuck did they go? I was working on some of these animations for Melody like a long while back and I was thinking like, hey, why don't I finish these animations? 
because the rough portion is pretty much almost done. Well, fucking hell, I can't find them. Oh, maybe they're in my random folder. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Here's one of them. There's a little dance there. Let me turn on these other layers. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Got a little butt wiggle going there too. What's up, Dasco? <sighs> but hold on, uh, I'm going to BRB. Cause I gotta hit the head. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, hold on, I'll BRB.
What are you big, motherfuckers? <sighs> Melody was amazed at the animation that I just showed. And Daska says, not much sleepy in response to me asking, what's up? All right. Uh, so I was figuring like, why don't, why don't I just finish some of those animations? Post them. Oh, fucking. There's never enough fucking time in the day to deal with everything I have to fucking deal with. Right? Right? What sucks about living on the res is that any like small tasks like they take forever like back when i was living in vegas like if i if i was hungry or something or needed some groceries just fucking jump on my bike and fucking bike on down to the store for some quick snacks or like little food supplies and then just be right back like every shopping every time i went out shopping like it would only be like every few days because like the the grocery store was right there but fucking getting groceries out here it has to be like a whole day event because like the nearest like a uh, supermarket grocery store is about like an hour About an hour, 30 minutes away. And usually, like when getting groceries, there's like a whole slew of other supplies or tasks that need to be done within that trip. So just getting anything done on the res just takes a monumental effort by comparison when compared to like uh, just living, even living in a small township, small township or city, like fucking the difference of effort it takes to just get anything done. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> uh. Uh. Melody says, yeah, your Vegas days were a lot more convenient for you. <laughs> totally. Fucking DoorDash? Oh my god, I miss that. Like when either when I was either like too too busy or too lazy to go and get some food and didn't want to wait in the long ass like uh line. Just fucking DoorDash. Fucking uh Food delivery, like Chinese food, fucking Papa John's, pizza. Oh my God, the pizza. <laughs> why, why did I do like a stereotypical like French laugh when referring to pizza? Pizza's Italian.
but the next Italian food item that I get is going to be like a fucking uh a meatball sub from Subway. I know it doesn't scream Italian, but fucking fucking meatballs are Italian with marinara sauce and whatever. Yeah, sure. Cause I don't think I've ever had like a meatball sub. So it's uh, one of the things I gotta try. How's that looking? It's looking pretty snazzy. All right, let's move on to the gloves. To the gloves. It's Italian. 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 Ooh. Oh. I'm just so tired. Like, even, especially nowadays, like fucking. Oh, God. The cold. The cold is killing me. Because, um. Like, I'll go to bed at a reasonable time, like, usually around midnight. Like, but last night I went to bed, like, around maybe about, I think it was 10. I don't know, I was, like, feeling especially tired yesterday. So I went to bed pretty early. Let me see, when was that? Yeah, 10.30, I went to bed. And I woke up, like, around, like, four no 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 it was even earlier it was like three three something because like usually like i i've trained my body to like only like need four hours of sleep so i go to bed like usually i w go to bed around like midnight and i'll wake up at four in the morning but it's so fucking cold and i don't want to fucking deal with it that i'll just like <laughs> stay in bed for another like um hour or so i'll wake up and it's like yeah it's still too cold and i'll go back to bed and i'll do that back and forth until like fucking the sun comes up and it's like you know what the sun's up i gotta fucking tear my ass out of bed shit Desco says, meat bread in a bread bun. Yes. Uh, I went to bed at 6 a.m. Oh, damn. Melody says 7 a.m. here. I hate myself, apparently. I normally go to bed around 2 to 3 a.m. <laughs> oh. You see, I used to do that. But now that I'm, like, more or less done with school... I can allow myself to stay up much later, but since it gets so fucking cold, I'm like, you fuck that, man. So I'll, I'll go to bed at a more reasonable time. But I wish I didn't have to. I wish I didn't have to go to bed at all. Just fucking s s work. Whoops. Hmm. Ah, God damn it.
<sighs> there, that's that angle's better. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Uh. Uh. <sighs> do the do, man. <sighs> this stream not brought to you by Mountain Dew. Oh, oh man. After this coffee, I got to guzzle some water. I'm not getting enough water. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm not getting enough water in my system again. Proper hydration is essential. Tasca says more water, less smokes. Well, I am smoking less <laughs> nowadays. Oh, speaking of like uh, smoking less, like the reason I'm smoking less is because I feel like I'm just, I I'm getting into that lazy mode again due to the weather. I feel like becoming less active or whatever. I want to go on walks or runs, but like fucking, it's always like a situation where it's like I'm I it's either I'm either too busy or it's too cold. But I should be putting in more of the effort. Speaking of which let's do some push-ups. It's gotta stretch a little bit first. Get the blood flowing. Ugh, a few squats. Ugh. <sighs> 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 oh, you can kind of see my belly. No one wants to see that. Okay. Push ups. I get back into it. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta tie up my hair.
Don't want my hair to get all dusty. Then tuck that in there. Put the hood back on because it's cold. All right. I'm just going to do nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. I got to blow my nose. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> What's so funny, Melody? What's so funny, Luffin Muffin? Darling sweetness. <laughs> Melody, were you playing farts as I was as I was exercising? <laughs> was my was my exercising like uh syncing up with some of the farts that you were playing? I guess they were, weren't they? It sounded like a cry for help. <laughs> Starting it off wet. JP from Finland. <laughs> Tommy Olsen. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to check that out later. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, I got to get the blood flowing. Uh, so, there's, there's been less smokes. I'm trying to get back into exercising. And, um, I'm gonna, gonna eat less. I'm gonna try to eat less. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on with me lately. For some reason, er, er, lately, I wonder if it's got if it's got something to do with like um some kind of subliminal subliminal effect that the cold is having on my eating habit. But lately, like I'll serve myself a plate of food, I'll sit down to eat, and then I'll just start fucking going to town and I'm like eating so much so fast that I'll feel like just fucking miserable in the middle of the meal, but I'll just fucking keep shoveling food in my mouth. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what the fuck are you doing? This is usually when you stop. Cut it out. And my body's like, no. I just want to fucking keep eating. Like, no. You're going to make yourself sick. And sure enough, like, I'm at the last bit, like, portion of food, and I just shove it aside and like, fucking, why did I do that to myself? But I don't know what it is. Like, um, 
usually like I'll eat slowly and just like give the food time to process and like have like a small portion now and then set the other side like other portion aside for later but lately I've just been like just shoveling food down my gullet and just fucking <laughs> going to town and like in the middle of the meal I was just like what am I doing to myself I feel miserable like why am I eating so much so fast I don't know I'm thinking like me is, is is the cold weather forcing me to do this it's like I, I acknowledge that like I, I shouldn't be eating so fast but uh, even when I do that thought is like there and gone and then i'm just like back to shoveling food down my fucking throat gluck, 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 gluck. like why am i eating like this right now it's not like me am i depressed i've got a lot to be depressed about but i don't feel sorrowful or mournful what the fuck is going on man Eating like I'm at a competition or something. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? And here's what she said to me. Sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. Uh, is, that was beautiful, man. That was downright lovely. <laughs> oh, fucking, I'm going mad. I'm going fucking insane. Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the reason I'm being so lighthearted is because, like, maybe something good is right around the corner. I don't know. <laughs> Melody, what are you sending me? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is some dark humor. But um, with my current uh, computer tech know-how, I should try to make myself a website just so there can be like a centralized hub for all of my content, thoughts, and emotions.
<laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Gotta drink more water. Oh, this is water. It's not a soda. I tend to reuse some of these cups for like a few, like a few more times for either water or juice, but then I'll throw them out. Sweet, that's looking pretty snazzy. I gotta pull up some Jessica Rabbit reference. Oh, her gloves are kind of shiny. Gonna have to put a sheen in there. And her dress is glittery. Oh. I don't know if I have any glitter effects. Maybe something like this? Yeah, something like that might work. How would this look? No. <laughs> -uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, like uh, with my current like um, computer tech know-how, I should try to make a website. But I don't know what I want it to look like. Like, what do I want it to be? I want to advertise my artwork and stuff for one thing, but then should I also like include it to like encompass my my desire to like run for for president and then put all my like um policies up there maybe i should like animate all of my policies and like these like fucking little three to five minute clips here's my policy on this here's my policy on that vote for me you fucking jackasses now uh, calling people jackasses might turn them off but i'm just doing it in a jovial sense but would the people really get that? I mean, like a great majority of them are just fucking idiots. But then, like... If they're idiots, then they wouldn't really be voting for you, would they? Like, they wouldn't get the joke. I guess not. I guess uh, this is stuff that... I gotta think about later, but <clears throat> yeah, my website have all my artwork, maybe my resume, uh, like kind of like encompass like the blog aspect of it too, just to like keep people up to date on what's going on with me. Um, maybe have like a small section for games. Remember when websites used to have that? It's like any artist who had a website would like, yeah, they would have their art, but then they would also have like like a page for like little games that they have like maybe like a, they would have like a little kind of like a ping pong game or like a breaking blocks game but then they would like um implement their artwork in there somehow like i miss that like like uh, artist websites back in the day used to have like little game sections 
with like JavaScript games that use their artwork. Or maybe they were games that they coded themselves to like mess with like physics or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, I think uh, also like maybe a section for my desire or bid for the presidency. Because I would be a kick ass president, because I would literally kick ass. <laughs> But yeah, like maybe I should start getting to some of that too. Oh, there are sparkle effects. Oh, there's a glitter effect. Particle size, particle density. Let's turn that down. Spray deviation. What happens when we turn that down? I like mid grade that. What if we did an add instead of an overlay? No. Let's keep that as an overlay. Oh, what about an add glow? That might work. Okay, I'll have to apply that to some different layer. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Fuck yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. What about these sparkles? Oh yeah, we'll put that on a top, like a top layer. Right now we'll just kind of stick with glitter. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I know what to do. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> What's up, some user? Not much, how about you? Oh, uh, oh, like a few things. <laughs> You're gonna have to like, start watching the stream from the complete beginning. To, like, hear what's going on with me, but um, I guess to give you the rundown, that job opportunity that I was like, um, that I was offered, well not offered, but like a town company sought me out. I looked into it and the, company that uh, commissioned the talent agency um, when I sent my resume and all my stuff all of a sudden that same week they're like oh no we're not gonna hire remote artists I'm like oh <sighs> great that's fine <laughs> but you know I, I saw it coming I saw it coming a mile away like you like fucking it, it always ends up like that when I'm when I get like a job interview from like a company, like, you know, it's always great. The first interview is always awesome. But then shortly after that, when they have time to look into my name, my history and everything, like everything just fucking flips on a dime. Just like the attitude and everything is just like a, just a full 180. Like, oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we decided to go in a different direction. We hired somebody else. Um, you're you're not what we're looking for, or whatever. And in this company's case, it's like, oh, we're we're not we're no longer hiring remote artists. <laughs> oh, fucking what a coincidence, man! Fucking jackasses. But you know, I, I knew not to get my hopes up, but I saw it coming because it's the same old story. Fuck him, dude. Just fucking fuck him, man. Oops. Oh, this should go on the top layer above the line art. Oh. <sighs> Um, oh, by the way, JB, will you ever be doing any more of your sketchbook flip throughs? Um, I haven't updated any of my actual like physical sketchbooks in a long while. So 
Probably not. Especially since I don't remember where I left off. I'm going to have to look through all of my fucking sketchbook tours just to see which ones I haven't gone through yet. Um, oh, they found out about your lowly stuff. Probably, probably. Even though, like, my, my gallery or my portfolio doesn't portray, like, my lowly art, like, a simple, like, search of my name would, like, just bring a, a whole bunch of stuff. And that's what probably set them off. You know, it was like fucking, yeah, fuck you and your opportunity, man. I didn't need it in the first place. Freaking hot shot company, not willing to take a shot on a fucking serious talent like this. Kiss my ass. <laughs> hmm. But anyway, life goes on. No, that's not the right one. Oh, it's this one. Is this the brush that I've been using? Oh yeah, it is. Right. You ever thought about using an alias? God damn it, this same question again. No. Well, yes, I have thought about using an alias, but like fucking I'd be starting over from square one again. And then once they fucking found out who I was, they'd fucking kick me out. And then I'd just be back to where I was in the first place. So there's like no, no fucking point. But yes, I thought about it, like getting like a new pseudonym or an alias, make some work from that. But like fucking I would have to create brand new art, a brand new portfolio for this particular alias, and that would take me X amount of time in order to like build all that up. Time that I don't have because I'm too busy trying to make money and make ends meet. Whereas like, once I finally got all that done, who after X amount of like months or even years, and present that alias, maybe get a job off of that, but then once they found out who I was, They'd fucking probably fire me from from the get go in the first place. So then, it just like fucking all that fucking effort and work that went into creating or fabricating a new name for myself would just fucking go down the shitter. So like fucking, what's the point? Because <laughs> I've restarted so many times over that to restart again, like fucking, no, I'm not doing it. It's just like way too much effort for like fucking little little to no payback. So yeah, I thought about it. And I put a lot of thought about it to like realize where it would eventually end up. And that's back at square one. So why fucking put forth the effort? <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I've gotten that question time and time again. And like, I've run down through that same scenario. Like saying like, hey, yeah, there's no point. Because like, once I make, put all that time and effort into making that alias, it's just going to circle me right back to where I started. So even if I got the shot, 
even if like I showed my effort and talent once it came out to who I actually once it comes out the like the fact of who I actually am like my real name and everything and all the history that comes with it like fucking there's still going to be that stigma and that stigma is just going to like force them to like fucking like fire me anyway so there's no point in going down that road when I already can't surmise where it's going to lead me back to. So yeah. Anyway, to get your record sealed for good behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's going to be like a long, arduous process, and I would have to sit it out for X amount of years. I don't know. I think a certain amount of years off probation. Because I've heard about something like that before, but I think you have to be off probation in order to, like, you have to be off probation for. A certain amount of years in order to like apply for something like that but here I am I'm still on probation so there's like really no point in me trying to do that right now so I just go the way I'm going so that's why I'm thinking like should I guess I should like make myself a website to advertise my artwork, who I am, what I want to do, announce that I want to become president, round up a bunch of crooked motherfuckers and have them executed for making my fucking life the way <laughs> as hard as it is. Because it, fucking it shouldn't have to be this hard, man. Like there, there is like a hands-on rapist that I know of who's had like like a serial like um history of like either rape or attempted rape but fucking the last rape he was like um convicted of he got off on a technicality and he's out there roaming free like no history like no sex offender registry for him like this guy like he fucking beat up some cops in a drunken rage and after that, like, he attempted to rape, like, one of his own relatives. And that's what got him to some hot water. Like, okay, like, here, here's what happened. He beat up these cops in a drunken rage. They locked him up, but they let him out on bond. And then while he was out on bond, he attempted to rape a relative, which locked him back up. But then, due to his original case, since he was locked up for, like, beating up some officers he got off on a technicality but because of that whole rape thing like that was just like a secondhand whatever like he's not even being charged for that like so he's out there free and like and i'm over here like fucking on like lifetime supervision because of like what some <laughs> downloading some images like i like compared to this guy like who's actually had a history of like sexual assault and he actually beat up some cops, but due to the technicality, he doesn't have to suffer, like, any more prison time. He doesn't have to, like, be on some fucking registry. This is a guy who, like, went hands-on with, like, a fucking relative trying to, like, fucking rape her. And, like, here I am just fucking having to deal with all this bullshit, but no, no, that guy can go on living his life. Like, fucking fuck the system. Like, why does it have to be this hard for me when, like, fucking assholes like this get off scot-free? So well, like, when I fucking run for president, I'm going to fucking like track down like all the policymakers and all the fucking assholes who built the system up the way it is to be more lenient on hands-on offenders and just like fucking be all strict and all this stuff on like, fucking people like me. Just fucking round them up and have them all fucking executed for all this fucking bullshit. This fucking... Uh, the disparity between 
these charges and how they're treated and like fucking how I don't know, like hands on rapists can just fucking have more avenues to just fucking be free than like someone in my situation. It's just fucking it's just fucking bullshit. Uh, didn't you mention something about them letting you uh go due to not having enough resources to constantly stuff God I don't know, man. Right now, it's like both courts are like fucking headbutting each other. Like the the reentry court wants to cut me loose, but the original convicting court is like, oh well, he signed paperwork that says like he's gonna stay on lifetime supervision, but then that's erroneous because my attorney said like, oh, no one serves lifetime. Like after ten years, you can petition to get off lifetime. But, like, fucking, I don't know what happened to the court documents that fucking, I don't know. It's just, like, a whole bunch of bullshit, man. So, like, fucking, let's get off the fucking topic. Not talk about this anymore. Because there's, like, really no hope for me until, like, I can allow things to play, play out. Because I've tried several avenues. None of them panned out to anything. So there's really little to, like, nothing I can do about it. So let's just fucking get off the subject and just, like, not talk about it anymore. Because I fucking tried a whole lot of shit, man. And I've, like, looked up several different avenues and, like, fucking none of them are going to pan out for me. All right? So just fucking let it go. There's a process going on right now that may or may not get me off. So let's let that play out and see where that leads to. If not, let me just, like, fucking make my art, fucking make my website, make my bid for the presidency, make all of my public, my policies public, just to show how fucking pissed off I am about this all, all this bullshit, and, like, see where that goes. Because, like, trying to fucking, like, do it the way that they, they, they want you to do it, it's not gonna fucking pan out to anything. Ugh. Let's talk about the Wednesday Adam show. No, I haven't seen it yet. I hear it's good, but uh, I, I haven't given it the time of day to like fucking check it out. I'm I'm too busy watching these other shows or re-watching some old favorites. But I hear the Wednesday's Wednesday Adam show is pretty good. And I saw like a little blurb about it where I guess the act the actor portraying Wednesday Adams like taught herself how to play cello well like she took lessons she started taking lessons to play cello in order to better portray the character who was written to in the show like know how to play cello and I guess before that she she's never played before but after taking lessons like um I guess even even the pros are impressed because a lot of the playing that you see her do, like she's actually playing the instrument instead of like having like a professional overlay their performance in, in editing. Which is pretty impressive. It was like, huh, that sounds pretty neat. I, I should give that show a shot, you know, like just check it out. But I'm nah, just fucking too wrapped up in other things to try it out. Ah, nuts. I lost. You gotta... <sighs> fucking execute every last motherfucking one of them because I am that fucking bitter. <laughs> Okay, let's start getting into the face. Oops. 
That's the wrong brush. Uh-oh. Oh! I'm in the pattern brush. There we go. Okay. Speaking of Wednesday, check Discord. Oh! That's a, that is saucy. Nice. Very nice indeed. A very grown up Wednesday. Adams, sweet. Tasker says, not overtly woke. That's good. As long as it like has some of that dark humor, I'd be down to watch when I have time. Ah, fuck. You know what I would like to get rid of? Fucking reality TV. Like, fucking reality TV is just trash and garbage, and it puts on display, like, rude behavior as if it's something to be idolized and worship, and... What's the word? Um... There's, like, a word kind of, like, mimicked. Uh, when you take on those actions and apply them to your own life, that, that's what people are doing. Oh, I can't fucking get that word in there. Ugh. No, that's gonna fucking drive me crazy. But yeah. Fucking reality TV garbage just needs to be fucking put away. Like, if anything, like, it should... I, I, I guess just fucking put it on the internet, just like, not on fucking TV. So much trash television now. I remember when, like, TV was actually, like, educational, like, fucking way back in the day. When it had a little more value and substance. Let's get back to that, shall we? We need to fucking get rid of this garbage reality TV bullshit. Keeping up with the Kardashians, more like fucking keep away from the Kardashians. Uh, so many people just like waste their time, like living vicariously through these frickin' asshole TV celebrities who don't contribute anything to society. Fucking nonsense bullshit is what it is. I mean, like, fucking why waste your time? All it does is, like, fucking normalize abhorrent behavior. And then you see people doing more of the same actions or talking more of the same speech that they see on those TV shows as if it's something appropriate when it's not. I mean, like, 
no one's entitled to like fucking act like a bitchy ass diva all the time. <laughs> It's like, yeah, like someone, like, maybe a barista didn't get your fucking drink right. And there's, like, no reason to just be all snobbish and bullshit. Anyway. Imitate? Yeah, that's sort of the word, but there's another word. that I was trying to utilize. I can't remember it right now. But yeah, I guess imitate is like a, a close second to the word that I was trying to think of. But yeah. Ugh. I'd like to legalize marijuana too. Not just for like medicinal use, because like fucking the paper industry, like I know, like one of the things is like they, they utilize several tons of wood a year to make paper. And then they have to like um, replenish that wood like they they have specific like plots of land where they regrow trees and whatever but it takes x amount of tree x amount of years for those trees to regrow in order for them to be utilized in wood or like paper once again but i think it would be better off if those plots were just used for lumber and set aside other plots of land in order to like grow hemp for things like rope and paper. Because, like, you would need, like, less plots of land specifically for paper and hemp. Because fucking weed is, like, it's plentiful and it regrows fairly damn quick. Especially when you compare it to like the trees that are utilized for uh, paper and lumber. Like fucking why not? Just fucking legalize it already. Not only for medicinal use, but for other practical household purposes. I think you'd save like a lot of time, money, and like uh, assist the environment by doing so. Dasco says it's legal here. Well, good. Yeah, like fucking legalize it across the board, though. 
But yes, yeah, some states are legalizing it, but on a federal level, like I think it's still being treated as like um, an illegal substance. But like all illegal substances should either be legalized or decriminalized. It's like decriminalized to a certain extent to where like people aren't fucking spending lengthy prison sentence, prison sentences like sitting in a cell because like um there there are things in the legal system like that that shouldn't even exist or shouldn't be as harsh as they are because what you should actually be like criminalizing are like um um like objective laws like uh there's well like a oh okay like objective and subjective it's like yeah there's like objective like laws like say like theft or murder which you should be penalized for but then there are subjective laws like when you when you criminalize like uh behavior such as like someone just trying to get high <laughs> who doesn't actually like hurt anybody like oh he he just wants to fucking either drink or do drugs so fucking let him like he's not getting in the way of anything the only reason it's become such a problem is because they fucking criminalize this behavior so much that people who are still seeking this high will go out of their way and commit criminal actions in order to attain that high that they were wanting to get in the first place whereas if you had legalized drugs and decriminalized substances people wouldn't go as far to like either steal or hurt people in order to gain the substances that they're trying to use so therefore like fucking just fucking legalize and decriminalize like a whole lot of the stuff across the board so people aren't as desperate to get this high to get that high that they're seeking like if they want to get high and if they want to succumb to that fucking um drug abuse fucking let them you know as long as they're just hurting themselves and staying out, out of the way of other people's lives just fucking let these people get high man <laughs> Their lives are shit, and if they want to OD, just fucking let them. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Don't have to fucking make a big deal about it. Fucking American government. Hmm. <sighs> Melody says, over here in the UK, it's listed as Class A, up there with the baddest of the bad. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. So yeah, like, I think on a federal level, they should just, like, legalize weed. And cocaine, you know? Like, fucking why not? Like, I would like to try Coca-Cola with some cocaine in it. At least once, you know. Hey, if it's good enough for Wall Street, it may as well be good enough for everybody else. But yeah, I hope you can see what I'm saying. It's like, there's just so many laws that are ridiculous, and we, sh we should divide them into objective and subjective laws. Like, objective laws, you know, like, um, wh which I stated where it's objectively bad, such as, like, theft, murder, assault, and rape. Like, yeah, fucking keep those illegal. But the subjective laws, where you, like, criminalize, like, behaviors such as just people just wanting to get high, just fucking ease up on those so like i think when they're when you can divide them clearly objective versus subjective you can like re-examine the subjective laws and just become a little more lenient on them because like this whole 
tough on crime rhetoric, like depending on what you label as a crime, is just not helping anybody. If anything, it creates more desperate people, and in the end, just kind of it—it just kind of snowballs. It has a snowball effect, where you create desperate people who are just trying to get by on, but then you criminalize their subjective behavior. It just creates a domino effect where it, it, it just makes more of the same. You're not treating anything by like being like with this whole like fucking tough on crime rhetoric. It just creates more desperation and more desperate people. And I've been drinking a lot of liquids, so I'm going to have to hit the head here again pretty soon. I shall BRB. I'm going to go take care of that now. <laughs> All right. Uh, BRB. BRB.
And my back. My back. Don't nobody go nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, had to use the restroom, but first I had to. Whoops. I had to take care of a task for my mom. Oh, but she's doing okay. Ah, now that I'm up, let's get some more exercising done. Ah. Okay. Gotta get the blood flowing. Ah. Okay. Ah. 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 Oh, brother. Oh. Lottie says over here in the UK. Okay, yeah. Read that one. Vasco Draw says, I mean, the government has done worse for the American people. That's true. <laughs> Melody says, hey, I'm... <laughs> hey, I'm sharting in here. <laughs> Melody, were you playing more... Were you playing more fart sounds while I was exercising? <laughs> ah, okay. All right, let's get back to this and get back to more. This is more political talk with Johnston Blackhorse, your future president and <laughs> gentle dictator. <laughs> Fucking hell. You heard of such a thing? <sighs> well, yeah, I should start making a website for all my art and my political viewpoints and have it be like a central hub for possible commission work and to run for president. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm Johnson Blackhorse. I am a freelance animator, graphic designer. Oh, and, oh, here, by the way, I'm running for president. Here's my political viewpoints. That might be pretty neat. And I could probably make like a... <laughs> okay, 
like a, a Johnston Black Horse manifesto and activity book. Because <laughs> uh, I, I think the word manifesto has such a bad rap due to a lot of the <laughs> other manifestos that have gone out <laughs> since then. Like, you hear about, like, fucking, like, these, um, like these mass shooters, some of them have like these <laughs> political manifestos, and they're fucking crazy. It's like fucking well, man. The word manifesto it like always has such negative connotations. But what what if I made a manifesto, but also had it be like a political, no, not political, um, <laughs> an activity book? So Jonas the Black Horse manifesto and activity book, where it <laughs> has a lot of my political views, but in between them, like it has like cool little like puzzle sections uh kind of like a like like one of one of those like adult coloring books where it has like all these fancy fucking imagery and whatever so that people can just kind of like chill out and just fucking color along with my drawings somebody just says but you work for skull girls right how is that oh fucking that was that was probably like one of the highlights of my career. <laughs> but unfortunately I had to quit after like I did like uh, several like I animated several move sets for the characters uh Misfortune and uh Parasol. But unfortunately like after doing that like um I had this job opportunity for like a like a gaming like a casino gaming company. So I had to I had to quit working for skull girls because i needed i needed the salary because my fucking student loans were they were astronomical and thankfully i was able to with that what that company got hired on with like um i was able to just wipe out my student loans and skull girls like the company that I was working on it, they did reach out to me to see if I wanted to help out with the second run. But at that time, I just, I didn't have the time anymore. And I wish I could jump back on that. I, I did try reaching out to um, someone who's working for the company or like tried to reach out for the company in general, but didn't get anything back. So I guess that, that, that opportunity is dead in the water. <laughs> Yeah, student loans. I, I went to art school for graphic design and animation. And fucking, it was, the student loans were fucking ridiculous. I think that company died the lead ce guy ceo got into some controversy so that might have been why well like the the project changed hands between companies so i tried to reach out to the new company but like fucking nothing happened because they're still making content for it like new characters and move sets and updates but um that was up till last year i don't think i've seen much of an update well no there has been an update, or, oh, I don't want to open Steam yet, but there was an update recently. I don't know what that is, maybe like a patch or something, because I don't know if they're like still creating new characters, but um, they've been creating new characters for a while.
and I tried to get in touch with the company leading the project, but um, yeah, nothing, nothing came from it. So I guess they have all the talent they need right now. I assume. Oh man, I'm getting that acid reflux. It happens when I don't eat anything for a while. Speaking of which, well, I, I had a small breakfast, so I guess that breakfast wasn't big enough for it to negate an acid reflux. Yeah, coffee's not helping either. <laughs> but I love my coffee. I'm going to have to go to the store here pretty soon to check the mail. See if my mom's new credit card is in so we can go down to Shiprock, New Mexico, and have a meeting with the power company in order to square, square this debt away as much as we can, or at least make it a little more manageable. Yeah, so the, that the, that donation I had I got earlier, I'm still holding on to it, so we can take care of that in person. But we're more or less waiting for that new card to come in for my mom. I wish she didn't have to get another credit card. She just finished paying off several of them and canceled them like uh like a while ago so it's been a while since she's used a credit card and i hate that she has to get a new one just to get this power bill under control but if that's all she's going to use it for i guess that's fine As long as we can get it under control before it becomes an issue. And I hope I'm gonna make her like cancel it again once once uh the power bill is well underway of getting taken care of. Because the last thing we need is more credit card debt. Hmm. 
Some user says or asks, do, so do you have any favorite part of art, like sketching, line art, shading, etc.? And Melody sending her loves. Thank you, Lev. Thank you, Melody. Um, my favorite part, I think, would have to be sketching or animating. It's a toss up between those two because, like, sketching, like, uh, just finding the form and like uh, creating a character is like really cool. But then like um, when you're animating, it's like you're creating like a bunch of sketches one after another to create motion. And I think that's just fucking rad. And stuff like uh, inking and coloring, I don't enjoy as much because it's, sometimes it can just get really tedious. Case in point is just like the just how careful and delicate you have to be with um, your inks. You just got to be pretty precise, and just when you study things like uh, line weight and stuff, because my line weight is all over the place on this piece. It's not very consistent. And um, you can have different line weights through a piece, but then you want it to follow some form of like um, shade and highlight. For example, like the shoulder here, it has a very thick line. But if this is where the light is shining on, like you don't want this, you don't want this line to be that thick. So I'm trimming it down a little bit. And I'm going to have to recolor, recolor some. Whereas I should have done this like again in the inking phase, but I'm a very, I'm a very busy individual. I'm a very busy man. But inking, like uh, with this new tablet, thanks to Melody and Dasco Draws, has made inking a lot, a lot easier. So big shout out to Melody and Dasco Draws for getting me this awesome Christmas gift. You guys fucking rock. But I've noticed you didn't have much fan art in your sketchbook videos, so you prefer making your own characters? Yeah, pretty much. creating characters is pretty cool like sometimes like usually when i'm sketching like i'll just sketch like whatever pose i can think of off the top of my head 
And then I'll create like a character around that. Like if it's a very dynamic pose, and depending on whether the figure is like male or female, I'll just start inventing characteristics around that pose. Because like a lot of my sketchbooks are like more or less stream or stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness sketches. But when I sit down and I'm trying to create like fan art, which I don't do as much, it's like uh, I have to sit back and think of that character's um, attitude and um, their, their, their emotion or demeanor, like, and try to come up with a pose that uh, acclimates to that uh, character's characteristics. So if, if they're like a fighting character, like I'll put them in like a fighting pose or a mid-action pose. But if they're like a, like a character like Jessica Rabbit, like I'm doing right now, then I have to sit back and think of like uh, something that suits that character. So like, um, uh, like I started off like kind of sketching like, um, let's see, do I still have them? Oh yeah, here we go. These are like the rough sketches. Like I was thinking like uh since she's a well a lounge singer, like I was thinking about like having her posing with a microphone, but then when I looked over the scenes again, she doesn't sing with a microphone. Although like some fan art portrays her like utilizing a microphone, it, it's nothing you see in the movie. And then I was thinking like putting her in a sitting sitting pose. And like, yeah, I figured like, hey, a sitting pose would seem kind of cute. Like maybe have her have her sitting on a piano or something. Like uh, sometimes lounge singers do that. But then I thought like, well, she's a very like um, like a tall voluptuous character, and I want to play into that. So like having her in a seated pose wouldn't convey like how tall of a character she is. So I decided, like, yeah, I'll, I'll make her standing instead and, like, have her doing, like, a mid-walk. Like, um, when she's introduced in the movie, like, uh, Roger Rabbit, she, like, like um, reveals her leg first. And then when she, like, reveals her whole body, she does that sensual, like, sexy walk across that catwalk, that, that runway, as she's singing. And, like, figured, like, hey, look, like, why don't I just do, like, an iconic pose like that? Just have her in mid stride doing that sexy walk with her voluptuous curves and whatever so that's where that's why i landed on this pose so like um in my sketchbooks like yeah it's true that i i don't draw that much fan art because it takes a little more time and effort like thinking of that um characters um characteristics and what they do in their life and like uh what sort of character they are like are they cartoony are they like a fighting game character are they like a movie character like maybe i can sample something from their like um the, the media that they're portrayed in like be it like a movie cartoon or fighting game and just like uh, think of a pose that emulates that but um Sometimes, like, uh, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't like putting that much thought uh, when I'm doing, like, a, like a sketchbook. Like, um, when I'm drawing in a sketchbook, like, when I draw in my sketchbooks, like, uh, all you'll see are just, like, a whole lot of conceptual ideas. And it's just, like, a, like I said, like a stream of consciousness that spills out onto the page. Like, a lot of the time, I'll just, like, draw a bunch of, like, figure or gesture poses just to, I don't know, keep that um, creativity of it like that. Because like when I, when I draw in a sketchbook, it's more of like a realm for me to just be myself, just be creative. And I'm not constrained by any thoughts of like, uh, okay, if I, if I have to draw this particular character, 
they have to be in a particular pose or a particular mood and like these random gestures that I'm doing, they, they don't, they, they don't suit that character. So like, um, when I do sketchbooks, it's just like all, all just me, just like thinking off the top of my head, like whatever pose I can think of and just like scribbling that down and then creating a character around that. So I think that's part of the joy I get is just like when I, when I sketch, I just sketch with what's ever on my mind. It's like, um, just, uh, be it a pose or like, a a mood. Like if I, if I want to draw like a mood, I'll draw like a facial expression. And sometimes I'll just like draw myself with that facial expression or just draw like whatever random character that comes to mind. So I think, uh, in, in, in all aspects of art, like I, I do enjoy like sketching more than I do like uh, making like line art or doing colors or or whatever like um, and I think animation is just like kind of like a branch off of that joy of doing sketching because when I do random animations it's just like a like an exercise just to just to just to be purely and solely creative without being constricted by um, other aspects of um, of, of drawing like it doesn't have to conform to anything like when I sketch I just sketch to be me and just um, create whatever comes to mind you put a lot more thought into your drawings than I do <laughs> well I guess only when it comes to like uh, when I'm doing like um, character art it's like you got to get into the mind of the character you got to understand the character like um, in order to like really bring them to life of course i like make it sound like uh philosophical or whatever but that's not the case I, it's just part of the mental process i go through in order to achieve like um um bringing life to a character i have not shaded or toned these shoes Melody's going to get mad at me. Like, why Why haven't you given any love to the shoes, mister? I'm sorry, love. I just overlooked it. <laughs> There's Melody with her her devil face. She's gonna be punishing me later. Whoops. Oh, damn it. Whoop. Wrong button. Oh, I feel better now. Just airing out all that hate and aggression and bitter resentment. But I think as long as I air them out with people who have 
like like-minded thoughts and ideas is very therapeutic because when I air them out to other people who don't think the same, like there's something wrong with you. You're you're not thinking right. And then I have to elaborate and just like say, well, I'm not wrong. And then they have to concede and say like, yeah, you're not wrong, but you shouldn't be thinking that way. And you're like, why not? I mean, the world is fucking corrupt and we don't hold the corrupt accountable. Isn't it about time they pay, they pay their fair share in money or blood? Because I think it is. And if no one else is going to do it, hell. Why can't it be me? Put me in that seat of power and I shall not disappoint. Because I cannot be swayed, I will not be corrupted, and I will not be bought. Because all I want is vengeance. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Black Horse. <laughs> Intimidate me. You can't buy me. You can't corrupt me. I'm gonna hold all the motherfuckers accountable. Black horse for president. Vote for me. Vote for me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. If you want to view paradise, simply turn around and view it. I think I gotta bring this bit of hair in a little more. There we go. Otherwise, I think I'd have to start having to draw her other eye. But... You don't see her other eye all that much. It is there. But in the movie, it's usually obscured. To add to the sensual mystique that is Jessica Rabbit.
Thankfully, it's not as cold as it was a couple of days ago, but I'm still bracing for that fucking cold front that's sweeping across from the east. So I think this uh, slight acclimate weather, not acclimate, uh, slight moderate weather is just a precursor to the fucking shit cold storm that's coming. Oh, that's looking pretty nice. Yeah. I'll have to wrap it up soon, but I'm, I think I'm almost done. So I'll just kind of keep going for a little bit longer. Because I still have to feed the animals, and uh, I, I have to go down to the store to check the mail. Like I said before, to see if my mom's new card is in. And then we can motor on down and pay for as much of the um, power bill as we can. Speaking of which, any donations would be very much appreciated. Except for uh, Melody and Dasco. They've done enough this, <laughs> this winter season. I don't want to see any donations from those two. You guys fucking helped me a lot, out a lot by getting me this uh, tablet, so no pressure on sending me any donations for this power bill. But if anyone else would like to donate, that would be very much appreciated. But yeah, no donations from Melody or Dasco. I forbid it. You are forbidden. It is verboten. Nine. Because they've they've donated enough. They've donated quite enough. So if anyone else can donate, that'd be cool. If you can't, you know, it's, you know, it's whatever. Melody says, looking great, guy. Thank you, love. My darling sweetness, honey kitty. He's your best honey kitty. I just realized I've been like more or less ranting this whole time. Like no, no spooky stories or music.
But it felt good. It felt good to rant. It's been a while. Air out all my frustrations. Oh, maybe I should start sketching or conceptualizing the website that I want to build. Because I want it to stand apart from a lot of websites that you see nowadays. Because a lot of websites are just so cookie cutter nowadays. It's like, um, I think they're mostly designed through like either, what was it, Squarespace or Wix? Either one of those websites. And they, they're, they're just so generic. Like before when they first came out, it looked pretty cool. But with every website, like seeming to follow that model, it just seems so cookie cutter and generic now. It's like just so gentrified. It's like every website you go to, it's almost like you're walking down like a freaking um, uh, homeowner, homeowner association <laughs> neighborhood. Because it looks, everything looks the same. Like the, the structure is all the same. So if I build a website, I want it to be like uh, more akin to like websites that you would see in the past. Like uh, I was saying earlier, like how artist websites used to have like uh, a section for games and their artwork and uh, other, like maybe links to like their inspirations or whatever. And maybe uh, links to their other media, or whatnot. But like nowadays, it's just like so fucking cut and paste. But um, yeah, I want to make something more dynamic, something that sets me apart from other other websites. It's something that is like uh, not only intuitive but slightly interactive and like maybe entertaining to just be at, because like websites back in the day, they they had like I feel like they had like more bells and whistles, so to speak. But nowadays, you look at like any website for any like uh, artist or artisan or like a uh, business or whatever. It's just like the, the whole same old fucking deal. So I, I think I want to create something just fun. <laughs> uh, were there any artists that inspired you in your art? Um, There were, but I, for the life of me, I don't know their names. I think as far as like American artists go, you can like uh, look at either Bruce Tim, Dean Eagle, um, fucking shit. Uh, that that one artist who does a lot of the fucking poster art. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but he's pretty awesome. Uh, Frank Frazetta. Frank Frazetta, like, um, it was a big one for me. Like, um, kind of like when I started getting into, like, just drawing, like, big, beefy, muscular figures. Like, Frank Frazetta was an inspiration. Uh, some of the, like, better comic book artists, maybe, like, Jim Lee. But um, as far as like maybe my lowly art goes, like there are several inspirations, but I don't for the life of me know their names. I know one of them created a series called Gorgeous Takarada. And the other one like uh, kind of goes by the pseudonym Russell. And I, I can't remember how to spell it though. Like they, they spelled it, I think they spelled it weird. It's like a Russell Meow, you know, like a, like if you were a cat, <laughs> like Meow. So I guess like a Russell Meow. I can't remember how they would spell the name. It's like either R U S S L E or R U S T L E. I don't know. I think there was like something unique of how they would spell it. I can't remember. And just other artists. I I just. I don't know their names. But I think as far as like inking and manga goes, like a big influence of, for me was uh, uh, ta Takeo, ta Takeo Ayano, Ay 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 I can't remember. But the, the guy who does the um, uh, Vagabond manga series, um, 
like the the life and times of uh Miyamoto Musashi he he takes the i guess the bibliography or uh, the the autobiography of like Miro, Miyamoto Musashi i guess there was a novel printed about his life and he took that novel and turned it into like a manga format but um, yeah, as far as like um, inking and brushwork goes, like fucking, I, I I followed that guy for a long time. Don Bluth, yeah, Don Bluth as uh, for for animation, like fucking Don Bluth was like a heavy influence. Just kind of like inspired me to animate. Fucking love Don Bluth animations. Dasko Dress says, Gorgeous Takarada is the artist's name. Okay, well, well there you go. <laughs> um, some user says, I googled that, but I got some weightlifter guy. Well, <laughs> maybe he weightlifts besides doing, like, holy manga. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, this this stream was really it felt good. Though it may not may not have been as productive as other streams, but like fucking having the time to just like fucking vent my thoughts and frustrations just makes me feel better. And let me know what you think about my idea of, like, the Johnston Black Horse Manifesto and Activity Book. <laughs> oh, it just sounds so deliciously absurd. Like, why, why would you make an activity book out of a manifesto? <laughs> Fucking because. Because it's hilarious. Why don't you get the fucking stick out your ass and just fucking enjoy yourself for once? God damn it. <laughs> oh jeez. I might be borderline psychotic after all the fucking hardships and stuff I have to fucking go through. But thank thank goodness like some of it's just fucking coming to an end. Not much of a headache anymore. I just hope it gets easier from here on out. And God damn it, God, you pissant motherfucker, why don't you just send me some good news every now and then? I know I've had it out with you here and there, and I appreciate some of you, like, you letting up on some of the fucking hardships that you keep sending my way. But how about some fucking, like, legit good news, piece of shit? Always shitting on me. Anyway, maybe that's enough screaming at God for one, for one day. Uh. 
Rustle, yes. I think that's the name. My my Yao is the group. Oh yeah, okay, all right. Melody says can't have good news. It was privatized by the rich people. <laughs> Fucking right. Man, fuck the rich, man. Always capitalizing on the hardships of others. Okay. I think that's more or less got it. So I think we reached a decent stopping point. If anything, I just need to whip together a background. Uh, or something. Some Throw something in the back there. I don't know. Maybe like a flat color. Um, oh. Some of these sparkles are going a little too far off the edge here. Fuck yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. That one might be okay. This one, nope. Uh, I think that one's fine. This one, nope. Let's see, where else? This one is a nope. And yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't do the highlights in the hair. Well, maybe I'll save that for next time. But yeah, eventually I have to get back to like completing these ones. These are just like base model emanations. Looking pretty snazzy. This one's going to still need a lot of work. I just have the bare keyframes in there. Mm. But anyway, I think that'll that'll do it for now. So thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my pissant rants. <laughs> ranting for a better tomorrow better future let me go ahead and save this and nearing completion on this jessica rabbit piece i thought i was really still with the figure but uh, i forgot to highlight her hair i'll save that for next time and maybe throw it together a fucking background for it uh, but yeah and um yeah, thanks for watching, and thanks to all those who participated in chat. It's always awesome interacting with all of you. As always, there's my lovely moderator, Melody. Dasco Draws is here, and some user dropped by, and who is still here with us, so fucking awesome. And to all those who are watching later, if you want to uh, contribute to the funds of like creating more artwork such as this and animations here in the near future, I'm, I'm trying to get back into it, as you can see here. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of plotting something out. Yeah, you see? <laughs> it, it's coming along. 
So if you want to contribute to the funds of like creating more artwork such as this from me, like uh, you can donate to my Kofi page. The link is in the description section below. And yeah, uh, any donations would be very much appreciated, except from Melody and Dasco. Like I don't want to see any donations from them for a while. They've contributed quite a bit recently by getting me this fucking Christmas present. Like look at this thing. Oh, fucking awesome been a dream just drawing on this for the past week or so so fucking awesome thank you you guys but yeah anyone else who wants to contribute like it would be very much appreciated give you some shout outs too but yeah i think um um some user says there was one more guy that praised your art but i think you missed his comment mig ninja was his name oh there oh okay yeah mlj ninja no, oh, thanks for dropping by. Like, I'm not sure if I've seen this name before. Hi, I'm new to your art and stuff. I'm glad I found your channel somehow. I really like your art style. Oh, fucking thanks, MLG Ninja. <laughs> you were a ninja. Like, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> Sorry, I overlooked you. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you call yourself ninja. You know, like, you just fucking sneak right in. <laughs> uh MLG Ninja says, thank you for a woga. I don't know what a woga is. <laughs> is that like a sound effect? A woga! Anyway, <laughs> thanks for dropping by. I hope to see you in the next uh, following chats and the next streams to come. Um, I, I got to get back into streaming, make this a more like a uh, common thing again now that I'm more or less done with school, but we'll see. Uh, I have one more class to go through, but um, again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it because it's like fucking, if it's face to face, it's going to be two or three hour drive away. I'm not fucking making that drive. <laughs> anyway, thanks for dropping by all you guys. Um, again, donations, much appreciated. Link is in the description section. And um, yeah, until next time, I shall check y'all later. Sweet. Bye.